VK Prakash, which is high for a kind of functional democracy that should eschew processions and some way certain struggles, protests. Reason a person is dead on the way to a hospital because of poor ambulance service. Connect the dots and you have cowbells too. A half-baked film because uh, it's a story where the heart and the head don't function in sync. It's a luxury to contemporary India to talk about the ills of freedom. It's also a favorite pastime to be critical of everything that the archetype politician does. Consequently, Cargill's too seems to address the issue of how Politicians have taken over the streets of the country. How they become unruly people, unmindful of the inconveniences, the tragedies that they could cause. Typically, the tragedies caused with the film are an ambulance reaching destination hospital 15 minutes late, leading to the death of a person who meets with an accident at home. Somebody can't go and take an examination and somebody has lost a job to go to Saudi Arabia because of the delay of a traffic jam. So, let us not forget that the street is the theatre and the most vibrant theatre of a democracy. It is not just elitist but it's a tad impractical to believe that our protests must be at a few designated jobs and should be by written communications or virtual protests. These are all fashionable but will have no effect as time and time have told us. It is easy to be judgmental. Perhaps that's what it is with me as I sit to review Kavas too. I think where the film falters is that it falters at the level of a script. Take the narrative. For a full half hour of the two hour, four minute film, is building up the character of Uday, Raj Singh, Uday Singh as he would like to call himself, without reference to the Raj, played by Darshan. The build-up is about he joining the Indian Medical Academy, not finding his feet there, quitting the IMA, going home and holding this information back from Bob Radhika, Nina Bhutra. Our discord protagonist, Uday, has always suffered in life because he misses his father figure who over a period of time you come to know is Raj Narayan, a leading advocate who according to the narrative has left the family and gone away. So decades later when he gets a call, Uday refuses to take it even when told that his father is A. The parallel story is that Raj Narayan is ailing from cancer. They need a bone marrow transplant. And most samples do not match. There are multiple unconnected stories happening. The entire uh, promotion on having to join the Indian Military Academy, the lifestyle, the stereotypical uh, 
uniform boys going under the barbed wire or climbing up the rope, having to travel through tough terrain, are templates from an IMA school, which are all built to show as if Darshan or Uday is the main character in the story, which he's not. Then there is a build up on Hina Gupta as the single mother who's in a relationship but unhappy with <coughs> the cold war between her boyfriend on the one hand and her son on the other. Then suddenly the entire film moves towards the principal story, which is that the advocate Raj Narayan takes up the story of Sushil Rostogi, played by Satish Kaushik. Satish Kaushik loses his daughter Arya, who is an IAS topper, in an accident at home and is taken 15 minutes late to a hospital because there is a traffic jam created by a march by the followers of the local politician, Dio Ranja, played by Anand Desa. This is the story. Rastogi decides to go to court on this issue. Raj Narayan voices the concerns of the citizen. Talks about the need to balance the freedom of expression with the freedom of movement, create the freedom of right to life. The politician is uh, painted black as usual and to show him in a context, he has holy goods to support him, they come and threaten Raj Narayan. But the central theme appears to suggest that we are more aware of our rights than our responsibilities. An echo of the 1970s when we said we need to know more about our responsibilities than our rights and therefore came the fundamental duties, quay the fundamental rights. Also he called a general political elitist urban feel that the convenience for you to travel in your car or your work to your workspace and back home is central to the functioning of a democracy. And you can have protests at some identified protest chunks. That too late. That it trivializes the whole challenge that a vibrant democracy must necessarily build. Don't forget we do not have our hype parts. Don't forget we have consciousness politicians. All well in their power centers too far removed from the concerns of the citizen. Also learned from the recent chapters of history. The one protest was the protest on the road in Delhi. How do you juxtaposition these realities? Is life from a textbook? I hope it was. After all, whoever said democracy is not a perfect yet, but half a loaf of bread is better than no bread at all. This notwithstanding, the film has its moments. Nina Gupta, Kiran Kumar, Anand Desai all perform and try hard to put some flesh into a script that is at best weak. Satish Kaushik has a few moments in the film and he's predictably good. Darshan has the weakest character in the film, tries hard as does uh, Smriti Katra as his romantic interest. The film surely belongs to Anupam Kher. What an actor. It is so wonderful to see Anupam come back to playing a role of substance. Maybe to the deciding it still has a political hue to it, but who cares? It's a very studied performance. Unlike a more successful appearance in recent times, this is far more balanced, less theatric. He's not selling an idea, he's playing a role. 
and with such intensity, such conviction, such brilliance, that it may not reach the levels of a Saranch or a daddy, but it is a reminder of the talent that this great veteran actor has. There's a wonderful dialogue in the film that Nina Bhutta throws up when about her son. She says, Fucker, yeah, fikker. Dealing with this film, dealing with the issue raised. I am in this typical dilemma. Should one be proud that our film makers are taking causes to fight? Or should you be scared that this kind of a cause will find acceptance sooner than later? Fakr, ya fikr. Kagas, do. Thank you, Abhinav. Thank you, Datu. Hope all of you. Read up this, uh, hear me out on this and go and watch the movie because it's pathetic when a film with some level of honesty and sincerity turns out to be a film screened for a special audience. There were only two of us in the theatre when we were watching uh, Kalgus 2. Certainly it deserves a lot, lot, lot more. Yes, the question will come back to my mind. Fuck. Yeah, fake. Thank you.